hey lovelies welcome back to my channel so if you like this dress i'm wearing i'm going to show you how to make it just make sure you watch till the end let's get going so here i'm going to be cutting this front bodice on this lining so that you can see it properly so i'm just going to start off with the measurement so for here is the bust line the nipple line the under bust and the waist measurement line so i'm just going to start off with the shoulder measurement I'm going to mark the same shoulder measurement on the bust line, connect it to the shoulder line. Then I'm marking my bust measurement. Then you add seam allowance. Then on the waist, you're going to mark your waist measurement and one inch for that. And you're going to add your seam allowance. Then you're going to mark this measurement connected to each other. Okay. So the next thing we are going to be marking is the bust distance, which I'm marking at. Four inches and this is your dart line you're creating then on the waistline I'm going to share half inch between the foot of the dart and I'm going to connect it to the bust nipple line then the next thing I'm going to be doing is to take half inch from both sides of the under bust line and then I'll connect these lines to each other this is not a princess seam dart but you can always do this if you don't have time to make princess that this can equally give you a good fitting so whatever i have taken here i'm going to add it to the outside part although finally i'm going to chop this off but I'm, i just always add it just for clarity purpose because i don't like losing measurements when i'm sewing so you may or may not add it that's if you wish to so let's get going then on the bus line here i'm going to connect this inner seam line and on the bust line I'm going to take three inches towards the shoulder line and I'm going to curve from the bust measurement towards this line and then I'm going to add half inch to the shoulder measurement for seam allowance for joining the sleeve so this is it then we're going to mark the neckline I'm marking at three and a half inches width and the depth I'm going to mark it at four inches then I'm making a curve for round neck so this is it so you're going to use this to cut out the main lace fabric here and the underneath one I'm going to use it for the lining of the front lace so I'm marking down six inches here and then three and a half inches then I'm going to cover it like so here I've cut out the taping for the lace I'm going to use it for the taping and it's three quarters of an inch and here I've cut out, also cut out lining fabrics for the lining here I'm going to start marking the skirt as you can see I'm placing it on 16 inches because the upper one is 16 and a half inches I'm just going to use the half for joining it later so this is the hip line the knee line and the full length of my blouse plus seam allowance hemming allowance so I'm going to mark my waist plus one inch dart add my seam allowance on the hip I'm going to mark my hip measurement and seam allowance then on the knee line I'm going to remove half inch or half one inch from the measurement of my hip line and here you're further going to remove half inch to one inch so that you get a pencil fit into your skirt so this is it after marking then the next thing I'm going to be marking is the dart so I'm marking it at four inches down like so so you're going to connect this line and from the waistline you're going to be marking six inches down for the length of your dart and then from both sides you're going to remove half inch and then connect this of course you know you're going to be doing this with a ruler so this is it you're going to mark it on the other side as well here for the pin side you're going to mark three and a half inch as you have for your blouse then you add the other rest of your shoulder measurement plus one inch then from here you're going to measure down to your waistline and you're going to mark your actual waistline and add four inches for the pleating we are going to be creating for the pinafore waist so here you're going to connect these lines together and when you're done doing that the next thing you're going to do is to connect the other side as well and cut this out this is for the waistband and I've marked four inches length and then the width is based on half of your waist circumference so we are going to be folding into two to find the actual length of your overlapping waistband so here i'm going to mark the back part of our dress i'm starting with the shoulder measurement 
marking the same on the bust line. And from here, I'm going to mark my bust measurement and my seam allowance. Then I'm marking my under bust measurement plus three quarters of an inch for the dart. And then on the waistline, I'm going to mark my actual waist measurement plus one inch for that. And I'm going to mark hip measurement plus seam allowance. Then I'm going to remove one inch from the hip measurement and mark for my knee measurement. Then the other rest of the measurement, you can equally remove half inch from it, depending on where you want the length of your dress to be. So here, after marking this, you're going to be connecting the lines together. So as you can see now, I'm just going to mark the neckline, which I'm leaving at three and a half inch like the front. I'm marking down two inches and I'm connecting this together. So the next thing you're going to do is to place your tape and measure three inches upwards. And then you're going to connect this together. So this is it. You're going to be cutting this out. And when you're done, you open up the slit for the zip allowance. And then we're going to be marking our dart one inch below the bust line is where our dart will be starting. So I'm marking four inch for the dart, four inches. Then I'm going to connect these lines. As you can see, I extended the length of my dart to my hip measurement. At the waistline, I'm going to be removing half inch from both sides. I'm going to connect this up to create a dart. Make sure you do this with a ruler to get a perfect dart. So you mark this on the other side as well. Now you need to cut out your interface also for your back bodies, just as you have it like so. Okay. So the next thing we are going to be cutting is the sleeve. I have a sleeve pattern tutorial and I'll put the link on the description box below. So you check it out later to cut out your sleeves. So onto the sewing proper, I've cut this for taping the neck of the front bodies and it's three quarters of an inch length. And this is how I'm going to sew it. I'm going to place it on the right side of my bodies and I'm going to sew the neck up. So when you're done sewing it, the next thing you're going to do is to put the face in front and then fold it like so. And then you sew on to the end. So here is the facing for the underlining material. I'm going to open the underlining material like this and place the cotton fabric for the lining on top of your main lining. And you're going to sew along the neckline. And when you're done, you slash off the excess fabric there and then you turn it over like so. And you're further going to sew this all round like so. So when you're done doing that, you're going to be sewing your dart as well just as you did for the main bodies here so you're going to sew this up then you sew your dart for the front bodies then you place this on top of your bodies and you're going to stitch all around it so when you're done this is the pinafore part and we're going to be facing it towards the wrong side and we're going to be pleating towards the mid side so you just mark three and a half inch from the mid part and then you're going to mark two inches like so and mark the mid part of your two inches then you pleat towards the mid part of your pinafore like so mid part of your waist assuming this is for the right side okay so here you're going to mark one inch from the pleated part of your pinafore and you're going to mark two inches up further away from it then you mark the midpoint and pleat like so and you do this for both sides of the pinafore so when you're done you're going to cut out facing for your pinafore and you're going to place it like so and then cut it out when you're done cutting it out it should look something like this and you're going to sew both sides leaving the underside and the upper side open so when you're done you turn this inside out like so and when you're done, you should have something like this and you're going to sew up both the lower and the upper side. So now both pinafores are ready. The next thing to do is to sew up your waistband and we're going to sew it like so. So when you're done, you place your pinafore on your front bodies, stitch it up at the shoulder side, leaving half inch here for attaching the sleeves. So on the mid part, you're going to connect your pinafore like so and you're going to stitch it like this. Then sew up your dart for your skirt and then place the waistband on your skirt waist and then you stitch it up like so. Then you attach the upper and lower part together. Now onto the back bodies, first you're going to stitch the dart and then you measure down your zip length one inch above the hip line. 
then you measure six inches from your knee line up and then you're going to sew this together then while sewing your zip you're going to measure in half inch at the waistline to eliminate frown lines from your zip and you're going to sew it like so after fixing your zipper you're going to face your interface right side to right side your main bodies you're going to sew the neckline like so after sewing it to clean this up what you need to do is to trim off the S zip and then you're going to turn this inside out like so then you're done sewing your zip here we're going to put both sides together then you mark your measurements on both sides and hem your gown I'm so sorry guys, I lost the clip of how I joined the shoulder part of my dress but I'll be putting a link of the video I did a similar thing on the description box below. So make sure you slash off the SS fabric there before you continue to sew on and then you attach your sleeves. So after attaching my sleeves, the next thing I do is to move this area together and tack it together. Then here I'm going to be tacking these areas from within. And here to avoid this interface from showing I'm just going to move it in a bit and tuck it from within thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed watching my videos make sure you like and subscribe to my channels and share my videos see you guys next time bye